there's a mentality. I play Thursday nights and Saturday and then Sunday twice. Everybody is active and you wouldn't be in this group if you weren't. We eat well, we're working late in life, that sense of community, the social, socializing, the exercise. My name is David Duffy. We have been living in Chicago for close to 40 years. I'm 63 now, and I do remember playing at five years old. I was in kindergarten. That's 58 years of, of, of playing hoops and uh, still moving, still vertical. For 55 years, no injuries, no stitches, no broken bones, nothing. And then I went for a loose ball um, with a 30-year-old, and um, he won the battle, and, and he took the ball and tore my rotator cuff at the same time. And so I went through that process. That was about five months, so I started thinking about it then. You know, you, you don't want to play injured. Even my mom, 94-year-old mom, I get lectured, you got to quit playing, you got to quit playing. We as a whole, nobody's concerned about that. That never comes up in the conversation. You know, I better not play, I've played twice, I'm just going to play. My man! parents were great. They didn't, there was no pressure, there was no nothing. Give you your ball, send, after breakfast, send you out, and you come home for dinner. Perfect. My younger brother's three years younger than me, then mother brother's two years, and then two years. My dad blacktop part of the driveway, and so we had a uh, great three-on-three -three court. And I go back there now, and I look at it, the backboard's still up. Perfect way to grow up. If you go back to grade school, that's where I met Linda in the eighth grade. She was a cheerleader for another school. I was shooting jump shots for the other school. She understands uh, the basketball. She is not a bat. She, we don't go to games. I don't watch basketball on TV, none. But um, there's plenty of wives who would say, if you're gonna go play basketball, then I'll do it. But not Linda. So that's been a positive. Very, very much so. Chaminade High School, Dayton, Ohio. When I was a, a junior, we won the state championship, hands down. We weren't even challenged. And we were voted one of the top high school teams of all time in the state of Ohio. And my brother won a state championship in 1966. And our family has five state championships. We had a reunion of the two teams, and uh, there was only one person out of the entire group of two teams that still was playing. <laughs> We'd like to travel, and, and, um, and so I just take the ball. My idea was to take each kid on a separate adventure vacation by myself for a month. So we went to Costa Rica. We did play basketball quite a bit. We got on a bus going someplace and these kids got on. One had a Reggie Miller shirt on and I said, let's just follow them. We'll get off when they get off. They got a ball, came out to a great court. We didn't know where we were, but we played all day. Then we played up in Arnall, which is a volcano. We played up there. We found a court up there and played. Played in uh, San Jose. Catherine's trip was to the Himalayas. I found a hoop in a village called Namchi Bazaar, played a little basketball, gave my ball to our Sherpa guide, and that was uh, one more check mark, one more country. Muscle memory is a real thing. It's a physiologically real thing. They, they say for your muscles to get that motion, it's 10 or, or, or 20,000 times over and over and over again. It's a big number. When you take a shot and, and everything is in harmony from, the, from your elbow to the follow through to your wrist, that's the art of, of, of shooting, shooting a ball and, and getting rewarded for that.
go to lunch, there's no ham, greasy hamburgers. It's salmon sandwiches or salads or a buffalo burger. We drink a lot of tea. As you grow older, the social component becomes important. I like the people that we play with. You know, we go out to lunch afterwards. And so there's good camaraderie about that. Camaraderie, the fun. The, you, you, there's nothing like jogging at 5.15 in the morning. On the other hand, this is fun. The social aspect, you know, going out for lunch afterwards, just ragging on everybody during the game. The foundation is the consistent exercise. And literally, Jones for basketball. I don't play every week. Yeah. It's like an addiction. Just a great sport. I've been playing it since uh, seven or eight years old. It's an opportunity to have uh, get some good exercise, but yet be a part of a game with a bunch of people, the strategy, psychology. You know, it's my like Saturday morning ritual. I think it's just the joy of the game, to be honest with you. A good game, it's a good game, it's a competitive game, it's a real good bunch of guys. They all tie in together. So your diet, your exercise, your consistency, your, your, your competitiveness, so yeah, we got a, I like that. We got a mini blue zone. <laughs> a basketball blue zone. That's, I like that. Beautiful.